scientists and experts who are studying the Earth's climate and biodiversity are warning that unprecedented and deeply worrisome changes have taken place. They blame human activities for the changes, which are threatening nature, human lives, and livelihoods and well-being around the world. They now say any efforts to reverse the changes must be taken together because the two major global issues cannot be tackled independently of each other like before. Two important organizations are urging joint efforts to fight climate change and biodiversity loss. The Intergovernmental Science Policy Platform on Biodiversity and Ecosystem Services IPBES, and the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change IPCC, have published a report on the deterioration of climate and biodiversity. The report was debated in a workshop co-hosted by the governments of the United Kingdom and Norway. The workshop was organized in Bonn, Germany, and attended by 50 selected international experts on climate and biodiversity. Human-caused climate change is increasingly threatening nature and its contributions to people, including its ability to help mitigate climate change, said Professor Hans Otto Portner, the co-chair of the Scientific Steering Committee. He said a warming planet will cause shortage of food, drinking water and other contributions that nature provide to people in many parts of the world. Changes in biodiversity, in turn, affect climate, especially through impacts on nitrogen, carbon and water cycles, he said. The evidence is clear. A sustainable global future for people and nature is still achievable but it requires transformative change with rapid and far-reaching actions of a type never before attempted, building on ambitious emissions reductions. The report says the most important available actions to tackle the changes include stopping the loss of carbon and species-rich ecosystems on land and in the ocean, forests and coastal systems. Reducing deforestation and forest degradation can contribute to lowering human-caused greenhouse gas emissions. Other actions include eliminating subsidies that support local and national activities harmful to biodiversity and planting trees in ecosystems that have not historically been forests and reforestation with monocultures, especially with exotic tree species. To stay up to date with the latest news on the United Nations and the world, make sure to subscribe to this Facebook account by clicking the button above this video. See you next time.